Hey guys, what is going on? This is Matt and Vinick. It's Friday. Really excited to bring you this video. And today I'm doing top player attacks from UN. And up first we have Munir here. Um, so today, Friday, just a re really quick overview of what happened today. Um, there were quite a few tests and quizzes at school. And I actually came home super tired. I only got five hours of sleep last night. And I crashed. I thought I crashed for 30 minutes. I crashed for two hours. So <laughs> that was quite fun. And I'm sort of in this kind of mood right now where you um it's kind of like time to sleep but it really isn't because you got two hours of sleep before so i'm probably gonna be up really late so uh anyways let's go ahead and get this, to this video when you're here is attacking through the top with um some pekka lots of wizards there actually a giant bomb went off and killed all of them that's okay though so uh, his king is actually going to the outside but the queen seems to be going towards the inside and she'll probably be one of the uh, key troops to take out those enemy clan castle troops. It seems like there's a witch in there and a few archers, which shouldn't be an issue. There's still some wheezies left. And uh, actually, a lightning spell takes out that witch and the skeletons. So there goes another uh, race spell right there, and the queen should be able to take care of that town hall. And we're going to have the first star for the town hall right there with 47%. And just in a few seconds, we should see 49. There we go. So there's 50%, guys, with five seconds left. Just going to go ahead and end this raid here since it doesn't seem like it's going to be a 3 star and that will be, wow, nice, 21 trophies, 3,000 dark elixir, 300,000 plus regular elixir, that was a really good raid and up next we have this one here, Roller from UN and alright, so he is using the Balloonian army, no Lava Hounds in this one but we will see Lava Hounds later on and alright, so deploying minions around the base, sort of checking for the bombs in some spots where um, the defenses can't reach. Balloon spread over there, two race spells, pretty nicely placed. Uh, there's air defenses on the left and right, which will be taken care of very soon, actually. Single target inferno means that there's not much damage being done to other balloons, so that's actually a good thing. The other inferno is also single target, so that's awesome. And uh, that should definitely help out as long as the balloons get to it, because if they don't, the heroes will have a very difficult time taking care of the town hall. But the minions actually do that job for them, and we don't even need the heroes. But they are still deployed right there with a the queen... And I don't know, has the king been deployed? No, the king has never been deployed. And that is going to be four trophies, um, some resources, but for the most part, it was just a good attack. And all right. So here we have Yalu double, double zero 007. Double oh seven. <laughs> uh, and let's see, he's using the dragon army. And this will be pretty sweet. Um, this base here is, uh, I mean, it's not a bad design. The thing is, I'm not sure why this person's alternating the walls. It looks kind of cool, but... Mm. The thing is when you alternate walls like people think it was good it's good but if you think about it so you got a level 10 wall level 11 wall when the wall breakers go for those walls first though they're going to pick on the level 10 ones no matter what just that's how the AI works second of all even if they went for a level 11 walls guess what the radius of the wall breaker is three wide and two deep so you know if you go for a level wall, 11 wall there's two level 10 walls left and right so pretty much by alternating the walls you're really not making any, you're not taking advantage of the base is what I'm trying to say. It's better to stack all your level 11 walls, say in the core, or maybe on one side to kind of prevent attacks from that side or just make it more difficult. And um, yeah, but since this is a dragon raid, uh, it really doesn't even matter about the walls. It just matters how the defenses are placed. So um, we have the top corner taken out and now we have the attacking from the right. Uh, there are one, two, so five dragons out there. We still have five left in the queue, and those would be used to take care of the town hall. Now the clan castle troops are still there, and it looks like there's two wizards left over. I don't think there are any more. Now that shouldn't be too much of an issue for the dragon, as long as he takes care of them before they do, and he definitely does. We have that torrent of five dragons at the top. Um, I thought it was placed a little bit. Mm, a little, maybe a little bit too much left, but it looks like it worked out anyways. There's a race bow drop right there. And uh, here in a second, we got two dragons working on that town hall, and it is definitely going down. That um, Singletary Inferno got pretty close, but the town hall went down, and hey, we already have the other 50%, so that's two stars. A few more buildings are going to go down, maybe get to 63%. I don't know. We are not... Okay, yeah. So it gets to 60% per 60 with 16 trophies, 3,000 dark clicks. You're pretty solid attack. Here we have Lamas attacking this base. Um, I'm surprised he found this one this high in the trophies. He's like, I think Lamas is either above 4,000 trophies or he's super close. I think he's above. And it's surprising that he found this base. Um, it was definitely, I, don't, I wouldn't say it was a revenge. I We'll see how many trophies he gets at the end. 
But uh, yeah, he's using the what kind of strategies? He's using the Go Wee Wee strategy. Oh, and he's actually got one Lava Hound in there too. So we'll see how that works out for him. So the Clan Castle is coming out. Lava Hound is also coming. And so there's an enemy Lava Hound and then there's a friendly Lava Hound. They don't battle against each other because, you know, it seems like the... <laughs> friendly lava hounds more interested in the air defense than the enemy lava hound but anyways there's a lot of wizards they're also on the rage spell so they seem to have taken care of the lava pups and the lava hound itself now the town hall is closer to the bottom but um so let's assess the defenses at the bottom we have a multi-target inferno which might cause some issues with the wizards and then we have a single target inferno which obviously is dangerous to the king because he's actually the the he uh, the the head troop right now and you see those two free spells drop hopefully the king will get to that single target archer tower or not archer tower uh inferno before it takes him out look at that that's a level 40 king a little bit too late on that boost and actually the queen clutches that single target uh inferno and doesn't let the king die out so that was actually really good so while i was talking about that the town hall went down and 50 percent was achieved and we still have 50 seconds left so Looks like Lamas is going to let this one run itself out. The Queen's ability... Uh, okay, so there it goes. The Queen's ability has been activated. Now, the, the main thing here is... Uh, I won't really even worry about the single... Or the multi-target Inferno. What I worry about here is the Teslas and the Cannon. Those Teslas do a lot of damage. And there you see the Queen does go down uh, with whatever troops there are left. Unfortunately, it will not be a 3-star here. 3 seconds left. And I think we're going to stay at 79% with 20 trophies gained, 3,000 Dark Elixirs. Some really good Dark Elixir gains today with these raids, as well as trophies, of course. And here we have Big from UN attacking this base. Um, it's an interesting base. I've tried it out before. It really didn't work for me, so I never really, you know, I, I wouldn't say... So I can't really judge a base, I guess. It might work better in other leagues, or it just might be a better base compared to every other base. I don't know, but... Um, it just didn't work out for me, so I can't really judge it. But in my opinion, I don't think it's a great base because people got to 80 to 90 percent on it, and somebody actually three starred me. So yeah, with this base, and I've never gotten three starred in the past. I want to say a month and a half. So yeah, it's it's a big factor when you get three starred with a new base. It might mean something. Anyways, guys, so this one's going pretty good so far. I'm already halfway there to the 50 percent. Um, the attack is going through the top right, as you see. Uh, King and Queen are deployed. Queen sort of wanted to go off to the left, but decided to turn back around. Then we have a clear path to the center and core. Very lucky with the wall breakers there. He had very few remaining. The Queen and the King are going to come over, and they're actually going to lure the friendly King over down to those defenses, and he's probably going to get taken out here before he does anything with a Town Hall. The Queen is on her ability, and she does take care of it. 50% already right there, and that is going to be it for this raid. That was a really, really fast ending right there to it. One trophy, 1,500 Dark Elixir, and I did not catch how many gold or elixir he got. Doesn't really matter. This base here, guys, check out those resources. Almost 5,000 Dark Elixir. That's really sweet. So the loot up here is, like, amazing. I know the loot down there, I, I don't know, usual farming range. What is it? Like, Master 3, Master 2. And uh, I don't know about Sub 200. I have to do a video on my main channel about that later on. Or maybe this channel next time next Friday just to check out how the situation's down there because I heard people are complaining that it's not that good anymore and before I believe anyone I have to check it out myself um, so yeah anyways taking a look at this base design there are four wizard towers at the bottom that will has a huge havoc for the wall breakers um, literally if you don't deploy them properly or in pairs or guard them somehow with golems it will screw you over because that is what those wizard towers will do that they're used so that you can break through that bottom section if you go through the top, that is a trap. There are so many defenses, they will kill you off before you probably get to the town hall. Now, I don't know. It, you might get lucky, you might not. But obviously here, um, the attacker is going through the right side, sort of. With that single jump spike, he jumps over. He could have actually not even broken the other compartment. He could jump right through that compartment. So now the wizards and everything is in the center. That town hall is getting a lot of damage. It's taking a good stand. But eventually, the troops come over to it, and they do take it down. 42% guys, lots of time left. So um, with all that stuff in the center, definitely a two star. And now we're gonna be moving towards the three star. So what has to happen here is the queen has to be well protected. Why? Because all those square sections, the king will in no way in the world survive breaking through all those by himself and taking down those buildings. Especially with that expo, that archery tower, um, the expo in the center down there left over, you know, 
Uh, wizard towers here won't be too dangerous for the queen or the king just because of their damage is so low as you see the queen here is very important just just look at her her ability is activated she really 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 has to work on that expo she's got to help the archers whatever take it down let's see if she can her health is going to get super low expo is right now firing at the queen and wow the queen takes down that expo before she dies out giving the king an advantage here and he, he this is where this is what i'm talking about he's breaking those compartments way too slow that um, Exbo's giving him a hard time, and before he even gets to the other wizard tower, that is gonna be it for the raid. If that wizard, or if that Exbo wasn't there, I think it could have been a 3 star, but that's still 15 trophies and an amazing Dark Elixir loot. Up next, we have Leo Dado here from UN attacking this base. Now, sort of a modified version. Um, there's been a really trendy base with the town hall in the center, and sort of like this kind of um, Tetrix looking uh, blocks around the base and this one's changed up a little bit and looks like we're gonna have the attack go through the um, Clan castle side clan castle troops have not been lured yet. I actually don't know if there's any in there if there's not that will be a huge bonus uh, I think the king here the enemy king is level 40 and the queen Is that a level 40 queen my previous screen is really small. Can I maximize it here for a second? Okay, yeah, the queen is level 40. Ooh, wow, this is nice. I just maximized my screen. I did not know you can do this in my editing software. Wow, I just found a new feature while doing a commentary. Cool. Um, so, yeah. Uh, looks like there was a jam bomb that just went off and killed a whole torrent of wall breakers. The wizards are still doing a great job. The golem's about to explode. Um, and let's see, do we have any more golems on the field? We really don't. So, we're relying on those P.E.K.K.A. and the king and the queen to push towards the center we should see a, a jump spell there soon right there perfect placement that should jump the um all the stuff all the great high damage troops the, the, the stuff guys the good stuff um there they actually jump right in the center sweet clan castle is down so now all left is the town hall wow dang okay that went down really fast with like two pekkas and a king attacking it yeah it went down with like three hits i guess uh, that's 39% right there guys 40 seconds left king has been boosted the king or the queen right there is struggling I don't think she has her ability anymore. Nope. She's down um, Got some minion deployments at the bottom Now the king there is gonna try to break the wall He sure will as long as he takes the edge or the route on the outside I think he should be able to help pick up. Oh look at those barbarians just and and, and the, and the um, What's it called the air mine just went off and killed the minion. So now it's all about the king we have one more minion up there. He's going to get that Builder Hut, bringing 49%. And the King takes out the army camp for the 50%. And I think that would be it for this raid, since the King there, with his health, will not be able to 3-star this base. So, no point in wasting his health. His health. That's 18 trophies right there, 2 stars. And we're moving on to our next one. Ooh, we have Cheta here. Actually, this is James. He likes to be called James. So, this is James here attacking. And, um, all right. Let's go ahead. He's got a lot of Valkyrie. All right, really, really cool army here. Let's go ahead. And, I'm re actually really interested to see what happens here. So he's got all those Valkyries running around, and um, wow, that was quite a risky placement because they could have went around the edge on the outside. He doesn't have any Wizards in his army, so he couldn't take care of any of those outside buildings. But he just placed the jump spell um, right there. They're going to jump in the court now. Notice those multi-target infernos. They definitely need to be frozen. There are some wizards. It's going to get really dangerous. Um, as long as the Valkyries can spin and <laughs> take out the enemy wizards, they'll be fine. Now, the town hall just went down. 35%, guys. The queen there is alive. The king is on the outside. This will be pretty good. Um, I think I got a pretty good feeling about this. Right? It's going to be a two-star. Yeah, the queen right there. Um, she's Okay, so watch her. She goes inside that section, right? She goes for the uh, Teslas, and then is she going to jump back out? I think she's going to jump back out. I'm not even kidding. Let's see. Oh, no, she doesn't. Okay, because in one of the raids I watched, the, the queen actually used the jump so they jump back out of the core and uh, not take down the town hall. I still have to show you guys that raid. It's a sweet, sweet raid. Literally, the heroes, the king goes in, he uses the jump spell to get in the core. He takes care of the first three buildings before the town hall. And then, just as he's about to get the town hall, he literally turns around and just goes for the other buildings. That's it for this video, guys. Um, this is Bad and Vinic. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's the first link in the description, as well as everybody else who's a part of this channel. Subscribe to the E Clash Army itself. We're posting videos every single day with lots of awesome Clash Clans YouTubers. This is Mad and Vinic, and make it a great Clash time or not, the choice is always yours.